some of the players here on the server right now with some nids. As we jump into round one, it's the pistol. Team Machine on the T side, Team Sponge over on the CT side. Let's get into it. Let's see how this pistol goes. We've already got three mid from Team Sponge. They're not wow. wasting any time on this control. Yeah, mid control, you talked about it. It's very easy to gather on the CT side, but here comes the lit charge up onto the ledge, out into middle. It's Keddy S back, and Cubby just trying to deal out some damage. He's got one, but he's under so much pressure. Finally, he's overrun by Deha and Jackinho as they make their way through the big donut. Through the big donut, they're going to take a bite of it as they go into that A bomb site. And a machine getting that bomb down, being a good teammate, giving them a great chance. Yeah, getting that money in. Here's the new hallway that Giuliano is currently occupying. Just added with the most recent update. And Jackinho is going to be trying to hold on as Giuliano trying to get an angle, trying to find a head into this one. And finally, she'll spot machine. Good headshot at the back of his head. And Art goes down as well. Good start here for Team Machine. Three players staying alive. Clean little mid take. It looked like Team Sponge had the upper hand in that mid take early, but it was the late play out of the B ledge straight down into middle that caught them out. I feel like we, we get some mind games in this matchup Definitely. too. I feel like Machine knows that Chad knows that the, the mid play is going to be heavy, but he then goes into the A site. And, and oftentimes you don't see that A site hit because there's a lot of different angles there. So I'm hoping we get those mind games continuing as we go on. Already seeing a smile on Vinny's face. They're having a good time here. Yeah, they're having a fantastic time. You know, I, I played one show match before Alex. It was against Vinny, and it did not go well. You never want to play against him in a, in a show match, that's for sure. And while trying to play on the edge of these smokes, is Deha. He's trying to get around, but he's pulled a molly at the wrong time. And Chris J on the Deagle. Oh, the Deagle's all over the shop right now. Team Sponge, they've got the aim, they've got the skills, and it's completely destroyed Team Machine. Good luck, Fang. Oh, not even going to happen. It's Sponge on the other side with wow. a Galil. That is not... Really, the start that Team Machine would have wanted. And and that's what's so hard about this map, Dinko. That's going to happen to you a lot. You just can't take that control towards the, the cheetah area, I guess yeah. we're calling it. It's just so hard. Yeah, we're using the callouts uh, Elise has actually put out there on social media. That's what we're taking a look at. It's a force up again here from Team Machine. I'm looking forward to see what they've got up their sleeve of this one. Do they have what it takes to be able to pull this off? It's a big economic decision early on. You lose this one, you're putting your opponents in a very comfortable situation. A quick reply, full team execute up towards the B ramp, and Giuliano, she's tested but cannot find anything. And now Art, the Brazilian, in the corner. They run all by, they haven't checked him, and Art in with one, a second as well. It's an absolute shutdown here. The four spies don't work out, Machine is just left alone. Like startled hair, holding car headlights, and it's completely over here. Nice shots coming in here for Team Sponge, and it's cleaned up. Four spy does not pay off for Team Machine. Chris J is looking pretty crisp out there, I have to yeah. say. We haven't seen him on the server in a while. Good to have him back with us for the show match. And we heard the desk talk about all those orping possibilities. It's Giuliano who's gone for that first orp for Team Sponge now. They've changed yeah. their name mid-game. Yeah, they have indeed. No no team chat in this one. They're, they're putting it on the sponge. And while, yeah, I'm interested to see how Giuliano performs in this one. Is an eco coming up. We do have Rush as well, who will be chiming in. He's an inch and expert, I'm sure, in a little bit. I uh, want to hear his thoughts on some of the, the strategy coming in from the boys. Obviously, Rush has been showing everybody at home how to, to play for the Polly's Cracker. Polly wants a Cracker, should I say, take of Cheetah. So, I'm interested to get his thoughts a little bit later on. I don't even know what that means, what you've just said. Well, you I need to be caught up. at his pro tips, don't you? So, yeah, you need to, you need to go and check that out. Hawk, are you not watching Ooh, them? Some pros. There we go. There's Rush. You could tell Hawker all about the, the Polly wants a cracker strategy, Rush. So we do have a position on this map that we call Polly's Pocket. It's towards what uh, I call the back alley. Some people call it Banana. But that's Polly's Pocket, a very vital uh, area of the map. You want to keep control. You want to molly it out and then throw some other nades. And then you have a Polly wants a cracker. Yeah, I mean, it all makes sense, Rush. I think there's been so many calls uh, that made for that one position, but it's a strategy. If you want to check it out, uh, pro tips. Rush has shown us all how to do it. Did see the team cams there. We'll hear from Rush a little bit later on, maybe as well. And I mean, we did see the team cams. Machine looks very focused right now. So definitely taking this one very seriously indeed. That mid take has come in for the CT side. Oh, Fang. Sitting behind that smoke. Meanwhile, Art gets aggressive and Machine's team are struggling to get any control here. They're going to try and see if they can go late into this A site. This is where Giuliano's AWP has been waiting the entire time. Oh. Missed shot on the first, though. Yeah, misses the shot. It's going to draw back. Goes again. Doesn't miss twice, Giuliano. Jumping up on the box. 
They just felt a lot more positions to play on this A side at the moment, right? It used to be very limited, but Machine's going to be tested. Under pressure, Kenny S just runs in, finds his head. Machine was tasked with a 1v5. And he really, he said it in the pregame interview, right? He said he was going to be sitting back and, and giving the backpacks for, to his teammates. He, I didn't think he meant it literally, but yeah, he's going to be sitting back. Just last alive there, Hawk. And not really doing a whole lot, unfortunately. Oh, you just want to get that first kill on the board, don't you? In a show yeah. match, especially. I mean, that's the best case scenario. You've got five players in front of you. Hopefully, they make a mistake. But, you know, Kenny pushes right into him, headshot in immediately. And it's not been the best start here for Team Machine. I mean, really, you're hoping that they try and knife you because uh, Sponge got a lovely 4K in the last show match with that. Here we go. A site looking a little vulnerable for about half a second before the rotate arrives. Yeah, yeah. Lots of quick avenues from mid back over Ooh, to the A site. They know a smoke. Oh, it's fair to white. Chris J with another good headshot. Kenny S is going to throw his Molotov out. And Giuliano not missing with it all now. Then he gets caught in the fire. And now it's Jackinho left alone. And he's burnt down. He's held back. And just so much utility dumped on this position, Hawk. It's impossible to get out around that corner. I mean, that bomb's even dropped up on the right side. Yeah, so good luck, good literally luck. no chance for Jackinho unless he got all the kills. And wow, what a turnaround this has been. Machine won the pistol. And they have been shut out ever since. Where are we right now in the water? Okay. That That's water it. is much more murky than it actually looks. Yeah, when you're very on the inside deceptive. of it, it feels really clean. You come out, it's, it's very dirty. So, and it's super loud as well. I mean, when I was making a rotation back from the A site, if you want to fake out A, come back into the B site, you have to be very careful when you're running through that water because it's so loud. The ambient noise in general is, is very loud on this map. I know yeah. you're in a jungle and everything, but it's a bit much sometimes. Yeah, I think they turned it down a little bit, but this is classic okay. art. This is classic art. It's flying around the corner with the headshot completely ready for it. Art doesn't know his angles just yet. Juliana has been very dynamic, Hawk, because she's been all over the shop. They're trying to switch things up on the Team Sponge side. Maybe not to good effect in this round. Here goes Juliano, though. Machine could be on for his first kill. Oh, he's got it. Only took Giuliano not to have a gun out for oh. Machine to get on the board. Sponge versus Machine head-to-head -head battles. Missed shot from Machine and Sponge will lock him out. Turns back and finds another one. Jackinho down and now Vinny in behind. Finally gets rid of Sponge. We'd hold that from the Australian. And now a three versus two. It's Machine or us up into the one-man advantage. But Kenny S, this is where we've seen the highlights. This exact position. He has been very comfortable so far in Ancient, but can he deal out some damage here? He needs to pull this advantage back. Oh, the bomb could get cut off here. What's going on? Oh, Chris J walking right into it. Fine gets the flank on Kenny S. So now it's all on Chris J, Hawker. This has to be a big play from him. Where's he off to? He's leaving the bomb, walking back to mid. I would be scared. I would be heard right now, but clearly Chris J knows the map better than me. He's going to go all the way around. They have no clue that he could be here. Yeah, great awareness of how to play this situation out from Chris J. He's got his way over towards Cube, and he's got a good spot for it running up. Fine with the kill. Second round of the board for Team Machine. A valiant attempt from Chris J to give up possession of the bomb and try and reposition. Great awareness showing his knowledge of the map so far, but just not going to be enough. But this was the play for, from Sponge, right? Takes out Machine from a missed shot. He had the all. Probably should have got that pick, but does well to turn back. Great stuff from Sponge so far. Yeah, Chris J had a, a lot of books in the background there, Dinko, but yeah. I don't think the book's been written on Ancient just yet. I don't think any of them are going to help him for this map. Four orbs. Could what? be the meta, who knows? What is that from Chris J? There, there's no utility, just running down middle. And d -Hat takes an easy kill. And now Vinny's going to try and pull it back. He's pulling down to his teammate. All right, who goes in for another one? All right, is having a highlight here. Machine's gone down. And it's Jackinho and Fine West in the 2v4. Art has just destroyed him. Penny S now getting a piece of the action. And it's Jackinho left alone. Has he been doing his homework here on Ancient? He might have, but we haven't really got to see it. Julia. Coming around the backside, six to two up for Team Sponge. CT side is, is certainly strong here, so don't be getting your uh, don't be getting too sad about this one. Team Machine could certainly pull a comeback over on their defensive half. You only need a couple, I feel, on this T side at the minute. You can see a bit of that Brazilian flair on the server in this round, just turning back and forth. Lovely work with the AWP. He's going to keep it for this next one. Oh, he's got the team camps. Yeah, getting to see his face. Look at the focus, laser focus right now. 
Can he S? He's gone for the aggressive aim in peak. And you can actually beat the timing there, you know? You can get in there as a CT fast and the T's can get there. It feels feels like you get pretty much all of the map if you want with good utility on the CT side. And we're seeing some of this double aggression come in and it's not worked out for Giuliano. I think this is how you have to play the T side right now. You have to play it slow because you can't get much map control early. You've got to just wait for some mistakes from your opponents. Maybe they have caught off guard their opponents early here. They've got an AWP into their hands. A chance to get something going with it. This A site is still very scary, Dinko. There's loads of angles you have to clear. You're already seeing Dihar having to clear these close cubbies. The Sponge is playing pretty passive on the A site right now. Yeah, he's playing in this uh, new back halls. I think people are calling it uh, Temple is the call people are going for. So we'll see if he can show up. Kenny S has found Vinny elsewhere, but they're going to go for the boost over the top and find Well, he spotted. Chris J completely aware of that. And Sponge very passive inside of Temple, unable to get anything. That's that d had the eagle. We know what he can do with that. We know firsthand, Dinko. We've had oh, some yeah. tough games oh. against Diha. He's still going. No scope from Kenny. Oh. Not gonna land. And Diha's still going strong. Art finally shuts him down. No highlight plays here today. At least not yet. Art denies him at the end. What is that? That is unbelievable for Diha. That, that shot up. The cross arrow placement and the vertical sort of re recollection of his cross arrow. This is unreal. Just up. The vertical aim is very difficult in Counter Strike. He makes it look so easy. Look at this. Damn, that's just filthy. Art's having a great time though. We've seen his thoughts on the matter. You know, he didn't really say, he wasn't looking forward to playing it in pugs, but I think after this performance, he might be uh, might be adding it to his top three map list talker with his performance. Oh, oh, here he goes. Right to the smoke. He has not ready for this. Scoped in. Oh, he hit the shot. Oh, that's the vintage art you want to see, but not successful today. Sponge able to get one back for the CTs. Here comes Fang onto that A bomb site. He's got to be careful of both angles. There's just chaos right now. Kills happening all over the place. Oh. Giuliano, oh, the no. knife out. Oh, it, really, Dinko, the real winner of the show match is whoever gets the most knives. So yeah. I respect the attempt. Yeah, bonus points if you knife machine and sponge as well. So Giuliano stepping up to the mark. Not the easiest knife opportunity there, but she went for it. You've got to respect it. Machine turns around. Now, you want Sponge caught between them, pulls his knife out, pulls his gun in play, and it's Jack Inyo with the headshot. Couldn't quite pull it off. And Team Machine back on the board with another round. And that is what they need, right? They need some of that overconfidence. You need to let them get comfortable, like the start of a good interview, right? You gotta let them settle in, get comfortable, and then you start doing this to them. Machine turning around, catching out Giuliano. This is where you get those opportunities. Here's a, a fun fact for you, Dinko. One you might not have known. Right, Did know. you know that if you rock a four AWP setup, it might cause some issues for your economy? Uh, it might, yeah. That, that certainly will uh, play a factor. And uh, I know we are starting to see that. Coming over here for Team Sponge, they've got a Negev out. Juliano has <laughs> picked that up, and Kenny S, he's got one onto Vinny. You, yeah, you can spam through that wall in towards, uh, what are we even calling that spot? I guess lane is what people are calling it over towards B. There's that big wall bang yeah. you can do. So I guess a negative makes sense, sort of. Not really. Well, maybe. I mean, the Negev, we'll see if we'll see if she can pull it out. It's going to be Jackie and you're walking into the B site. Kenny S has been spotted. They've boosted Art up onto the A site boost position. So they oh, can allow the station over. Fine gets caught. Art trying to spam through it. Sponge has found a headshot over towards the B side of things, and they've got big control. They have got the B site right now for Team Machine, though, and it doesn't really seem like they're too aware of this over for the CT side. Yeah, Jaquinho's made a real heads-up play in this round. He's got all three kills onto that B bomb site. It's Art and Sponge in a retake. Sponge has got a good chance to maybe make some noise here and take the attention away from Art, who's coming in from the other side. They've definitely heard him. Jaquinho wants the ace here, though. He's sitting on the other side waiting, but it's going to be Diha stealing it away. Machines post plant on the ace site. Successful this time. Yeah, very big round there from Jaquinho. Exactly what you want to see. And because of the economic investment, Team Sponge, they don't have a whole lot. Uh, what have you made of the, the performance so far, Rush? What are you thinking? You're, you're an ancient game player. You know, you're a top level well, ancient player. What have you been thinking of the level so far? Things are looking real clean. They're looking real tight. I'm liking what's coming out Tight from uh, both squads here. 
the Negev, you know, I mean, it's something we haven't seen yet on Ancient, so I think that was a good position to do it, firing straight through into the back lane through Polly's pocket. I think the, they all came ready to play here. Fantastic, yes. Well, that is our sideline reporter Rush here on the Ancient performances, and things are looking good. And now Kenny S right through the smoke. Jackinho was looking the wrong way, but Kenny S cannot get the kill. Bit of an awkward start to the round. Eventually, Team Machine get it recovered. I'm glad that I now know exactly what Polly's pocket is. I, yeah. I feel like I needed to figure that out. Now I know. Now I feel like I'm in the loop. Yeah, you really do need to, to look at that protein. It's a good strategy. If you haven't checked it out already, go do it at home. It'll make you a top level ancient player. And Sponge, he's got one on his Deagle, but it is Art left alone with a Mag 7. And Vinny is on for the ace. And he wants it onto his teammate. He wants to take down Art. And it's not going to happen. Mag 7 to the head. It's not just a normal Mike 7, it's a Swag 7. She might just be the next victim, playing very safe right now. Are trying to peek out, but final get the headshot. Machine just trying to cross over, it gets away safely, and that's all that matters. They're up five rounds, and honestly, pretty good performance out of the T side. The, the economic decisions has let them get into this situation. And we talk about this map being CT sided so far. You know, if you get five rounds T side, looking like a little bit more, it's quite a comfortable position to be in if you're Team Machine. I can already tell this is a, a Team Sponge tactical timeout called yeah. by Sponge. And you, you can see a little smirk on Machine's face. He knows he's causing them some issues here. I can already tell, right? Sponge is, is trying to take this seriously now, now that they've lost a couple of rounds. And he's going to be mad that Kenny just force bought in this one. Yeah, look, he's covering his mouth as well. Doesn't want to give away any of the strats. Uh. Any professional lip readers Machine might have hired into this one as well. So, yeah, they're not letting that one slide. A seven to five up. I can't let say, Sponge top frag. No, you can't. Luckily, Art is up there at 11. So just about. He's just keeping him down. But uh, I have to say, you know, a shout out to Kenny S for getting in a good webcam, man. So many players just have potatoes, right, uh, as the webcam. Kenny S has got the full streamer cam. He's going for it. It's a top mid smoke lined up by Jackinho. Will help the T's get that mid control they're looking for. A lurk smoke deployed by Vinny, and they have taken the control they wanted. Jackinho with a headshot. Can he get another one here as well? Giuliano, good use of the cover of the boxes, just isolating and taking better angles to fight with the Deagle. But mid control is team machines to play with. And Chris J, he's in a donut, but then he seems to be aware of his position and that Molly not gonna reach him. Chris J has a chance here around the corner. One picked up, and now it's Art's turn on the Mike 7. He's found a double kill, and this would be a nightmare round for Team Machine. If they lose to this kind of buy, that gets rid of all their good chances. And it's on the machine into this clutch now. The pressure on his shoulders. Can Machine deliver the 1v2 clutch? Versus Giuliano and Art, and the answer's just no. He looked the wrong way, he committed to one angle too long, and Giuliano just creeps up behind and hits the headshot. At least you haven't been knifed. That's the only yeah. consolation you can take from that one. I've got to say, Dinko, Donut actually fits that position name really well, because it's, it's really tantalizing. You want to push into it and split that A site, but there's just all these angles, and as soon as you try and take a bite out of it, you're done for. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a good call. I think that's one that a lot of people will be wanting to, to keep. You know, I've seen some people calling a connector, but we've got so many connectors. Why don't we add a little bit of donut into the mix? It's the top mid smoke again. A couple of nades have been lined up from both teams so far throughout this oh. game. Straight through the smoke. Art lines one up early. That is such a tight choke point. That's something you can do very easily. Yeah, great shot through the smoke. Chris J's come in as well, and this is just an absolute shutdown. And this is what we were saying in the last round, right? For Team Machine, they finally get their chances. Came off the, the poor decisions on the buys for Team Sponge, the fact that they lose a round and their money just wasn't in a good spot. So, yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate circumstance. Now it's checking your Machine trying to pull it off. I have to say, Machine has been one of the last members alive a lot of the time here, you know, just playing, playing the late game. You have to really deliver on on his positions, though. 2 and 11. See if they can get through this tight choke point. Just sending Jackinho in. Yeah, you do all the work. Yeah, go kill. Really living up to his strategy calls here. And now Machine goes. Finally gets his one trading kill. Uh, yeah, you bet it for that one. And it worked out perfectly. 9 to 5. Last round of the half coming up. He was just uh, there for moral support, Dink. Yeah, yeah. We'll you can do it, Jackinho. Go. Eventually got the kill on the trade. Man, this has been, uh, I think what most ancient games are going to look like is a lot of fights at mid and B, and then A is, is kind of left alone a lot. 
it's it's just so hard to push as the T's and you can't get those same early fights you can everywhere else. So it's just yeah. more important to get that map control elsewhere early. It feels like if you're if you're focusing mid heavy with a lot of T players as well, right? You you leave a lot of the other extremities open for a push and Team Sponge have been making good work at that, but Vinny's come in and found himself a double on the CT aggression. This could be a sixth round for Team Machine. They've got oh. an advantage into this one. And they're rotating away from A. Kenny just left the site. That Dragon Law unlikely to have any impact right now. He's stuck behind a smoke, but there are a couple of angles you can work with from the temple. Oh, Kenny has gone in for the shot. Machine's down. He's going to throw it. Molotov around the corner. Giuliano trying to play close to the smoke, but that Molotov is perfect. Vinny in with a headshot. It's down to Fang only. 1v2 for him. Bomb taking away. Kenny has down. Now just Sponge in the 1v1, and he cannot get it done. Fang comes in with the huge double to close out the half. It's Team Sponge that lead the way, but Team Machine are close at their heels. Nice. 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 Fucking iron, nice. dude. Five rounds already on T side, man. That's, yeah, yeah. That's good. Let's fucking go. Gotta go for eight, yeah. though. Talk, but then say nothing. Maybe you just said too much to say. Cause when you call me up, you just want one thing. And maybe in the end, you'll get your way. But I just wanna know. Take a moment to slow things down, work this out. I got your love on top. We're in the moment. And maybe that's what we're about. Tell me what you want me to be, baby. I promise I can be the one you're craving. Cause I think that I know what you've been chasing. Girl, I'm sick of waiting I'll be yours for the taking But I just wanna know Oh, 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 yeah If we should take it so Pride is on the line for these two teams. Team Sponge in the lead, but Team Machine trying to come back into things. We did hear on the comms just heading into the second half there. You know, they're happy with uh, their six rounds they've managed to pick up on this T side. Chris J seems to be leading the charge on the calling front. And yeah, I mean, you've got to be happy with that performance, right? Both teams looking pretty comfortable, happy enough with their performances. Heading into the second half, Hawker, it's all on the line. It's anybody's game. 
Yeah, Machine's team definitely happy with the position they put themselves in. They think they can come through on CT. I don't blame them. This is a potential bait and switch in the cubby early on. They spotted one man. Will they be ready for two? Yeah, well, Fang is doing Oof. a very good job. He's overperforming in this position, right? He's meant to take the attention away and then just die. Then his D has turned to step up, but Fang has got a double kill. He's being overrun on the ledge. Good flick up and a second as well. Bomb down, and now it's all on Art. He's got his way into the B site, but the bomb is down in middle, and he's got to try and figure out how he's going to get that back. And right now, Machine is his next victim, and he will fall in the pistol round. Art looking to take down everybody on the lean, mean team machine. There's plenty more right in front of him. Still got to get that bomb back. Might not be ready for Vinny, who's still in towards spawn. Currently playing on the backside of Temple. Art has snuck past. Trying to isolate the fight, but Giacchino's there to deny. We might be having to call them Team SpongeBob SquarePants soon, Dinko, because <laughs> they're, uh, they're looking pretty rough right now. Got to be honest, they're drowning out there. Yeah. They are definitely not looking so hot into the pistol there. That mid play not working out. Fine, getting a great two openings. I have to say, Ancient really does remind me of like a, a mini golf course, right? You know, you go mini golfing. It's got that sort of vibe about it. You're looking for the hole in once. And while well, they're looking for the hole in one here in their force by, that's not the best <laughs> mid smoke right there. Utility not on point. Sponge taking it in good humor, but he's not going to be happy about that missed mid smoke. You cannot be getting mistakes coming in this early, especially with such limited investment, Hawk. It's a disaster. You already know how that one went in the team comms, right? <laughs> it was like, anyone know a top mid smoke? And then Chris J and Sponge were both like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know it, I know it. And they both try and throw it, and they end up blocking each other's smokes. Yeah, it's oh, like dear. when you try and walk through the door, it's like, after you, no, no, no. And then you hit each other. No, 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 after you, and you just keep walking through the door at the same time. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough one. Machine looking to try and get some of these pistol kills to go as well. He's got the MP9. He's taking significant damage. Now hunting down the kills is Jack Eno. He's gone in. No free easy kills from Machine in this one. Especially down in 12 HP, you want to be staying alive. So now the A play. It's Sponge and Chris J. Two plays that did not really work so well together. And once again, the synergy not quite on point on the push out. It's Vinny getting two kills. And an eighth round for Team Machine. They're coming back into this one. And they're real close to tying things up. Got a hero AK straight away. I'm definitely calling Sponge and Chris J the dynamic duo from now on yeah, for the yeah. entire game. Just from that one moment, I've been sold. Yeah, Team Machine are, are really happy with this. This map, from what I've played and from what I've seen, is very CT-sided. So once you win this CT pistol here, you're in a very good spot. When are we going to get your first uh, video hawker on this, on an ancient gameplay? Oh, God, I, you, I would be analyzing my own ancient gameplay or this right now, and I don't think either are worth analyzing just yet. Going to be well, honest. Well, we'll see if Kenny S can change that fact. He's run out and got one kill, but he's committed too much and fine. Well, he's having a great time. Machine's got a double kill. You'll love that. Padding out those stats, getting much more comfortable. Now here goes Sponge, 11 and 11, and he jumps out to his death. Fine in with the headshot, a 3k from him, and we're tied up on the board. It's 9 to 9. Got the AKs out for Team Sponge. Definitely intrigued to see if Sponge knows some of those nades. Yanko was saying on the desk that Sponge has been nerding out on this map. He's been yep. learning all the utility. Yep. I want to see that now. You need that on T-side. Oh, I don't yeah. know what he's doing here. I mean, he's uh, definitely just having a, a focus up. Obviously, coming into this round, it's going to be a sword off for Art, right? Uh, I'm interested to see what they've got up their sleeve in this one. It's a heavy B play. Chris J, he, he's been given the task, right? You do the mid smoke, then. You go for it. Has to land. If it doesn't land, I'll be incredibly disappointed. Looks like it's landed perfectly fine. Art now trying to get into cave. He's found himself D hat. How has that worked? How has he got three separate shots off with the sword off? That never happens to me. I'm just dead instantly. Yeah, it felt, I felt, it felt like honestly the D has gun stop working. I, I don't know how he just didn't get that kill. It was unbelievable. Are we playing airsoft or something? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Well, Art maybe find himself a kill on the sword off. But he is down already, and it's a 3v3. It's Chris J going for this late play out into the A site. Last round, it was Sponge and Chris J. Now it's Giuliano and Chris J. We'll see if they play better better together. 
It seems like Team Machine have a good read of this, though. Vinny's going to start coming over through Donut. And there's a texture glitch here as well, it feels like, right? It's very difficult to spot the player in this position, but you have to be aware of it. And now the flash goes through. That forces Vinny off the angle. They doubled up. Fine and Vinny looking to pull this off alone. They go in. Pong hasn't gone down. And now Giuliano, she's hoping for the play of Sponge to come in and help her, but she's got to stay alive. She's got one. So it's now all onto Sponge. The 1v2 up against the low HP players of Jackinho and Fine. This would be a big clutch in his ancient career. Some say he is ancient, but he looks for the one versus two clutch as he walks out. He spotted the back of Fine. He's got one. Rolling back the years now into the 1v1 clutch, but Jackinho's found him. And it's a 10th round for Team Machine. Not quite getting the clutch over the line there, Sponge. I thought he was meant to be a cerebral player, Dinko. He had no clue where that last yeah. man was. Very disappointing. I was expecting more from the man, the myth, the legend. I'd heard so much about him. His performances against Titan back in the years. Yep. Now, obviously, we were too young to watch those games. We were mere babies when he was playing. <laughs> you just it's an amount here. So it's, it's just it's just savage right now. Well, I'm not sure if I'm roasting myself or Sponge. Yeah, there. I don't know. I think <laughs> uh, I think maybe maybe a little bit of both. I'm, I'm like it, but ten to nine up. Team Everyone's machine. getting it. Yeah, everyone's gonna get it today. Orcus had no chill. He hasn't had his his morning coffee. And fine, he's blinded. The near kill. Locking Sponge out of the round early, and Team Machine, they are a player up into this one. They've got the utility as well to play with, but it doesn't even look like they need it, because they're just giving them easy kills now. It's Giuliano and Art left alone. Four players to try and find in this one. Machine will be the first player tested, and as D have this coming in with a headshot, Giuliano gets the trade out, but wasn't ready for the second, or the flank of Jackinho coming in from B, and it's 11 to 9. It was looking so good at a certain point for Team Sponge. It was 7-2, I believe, Hawker. Now it's 11-9 for Team Machine. Who is it that's got the green player skin on? Who is that? Own up. Whoever that is, I'm very disappointed in you. Yeah. You should not be using the green skin there it on is. It's Machine. Oh, it's machine. of course got, it is. He's got to give himself every no, single that's, advantage. No, that's okay. That's the one player on the server I will allow. <laughs> I will allow it, Machine. I apologize. He's got to give himself every advantage. That's a true competitor right there. 5 and 15. I mean, he's got to give him something here. The green skin, if it gets him another chance, fair enough. We'll see if it plays out the way he wants it to. It's Giuliano walking out into middle, flying on the first, just in the open. Flash is a little late there, unfortunately. So he gets two kills. He's up 2013. This guy's going to be fun to watch when, when Ancient starts really coming into play. Machine was the real MVP there, though. Again, for the moral support. Standing yep. and watching his teammate. Telling him a good job. That's what you need. Man, well, Art is on the edge of the smoke. He has right in front of him. And Art's going to go down. And you know he's going to try and play in and around those smokes, right? So... Sponge now again tasked with a very difficult clutch and a fine with a good round, another great round from him. In fact, he's up to f another 4K. Uh, Rush, I do want to say, have you been kind of disappointed so far with Sponge's performance on Ancient? I mean, we, we play the games with him. We know how good he can be. Is this just uh, maybe the nerves getting to him here? I'm not liking what I'm watching here, guys. Something's gone wrong in the team. I, I see smiles oh, on the face, what? but I feel like this could be a situation where there's some serious uh, internal issues which is causing Ooh. the team to fall apart here. But hey, it's an eco round. Looks like a rush B. Boys, take it away. Do you think they should get you rush. in as a coach rush? Is that what they need? Yeah, I'm surprised so. they didn't ask me. So I'm surprised you know. too, honestly. I think I'll it's their own fault if they lose because of that. Just that alone. Yeah, well, this could be the end of a, a great casting duel, you know, if uh, the pride's on the line here and what denial of the ball plant. Jackinho going in for a second attempt, trying to line it up through the smoke. It's close, he finally gets it. And now Chris Jake, is he going to get the same treatment? The answer is no, because Kenny S has come in and saved his ass real quick. Diha, though, gets the double, and it's 13 rounds. Oh, no. Yeah, light a candle. <laughs> light a candle in chat. Right now, for Team Sponge, this has just all gone downhill. Might be worth... Team Sponge trying to get to the temple on the map and start to make some prayers right now. Sacrifice. So sacrifice too, a player yeah. at this point. Blood sacrifice is the only way you get back into this one. I will say that this is how I feel like almost every ancient game goes, where the CTs who start on CT side get way too cocky and start to throw away a couple of rounds. And then you get to your T side and realize, oh boy, we actually can't win a single T round. We're in trouble. Yeah, they are in a lot of trouble right now. And, you know, when, you, when you're in this scenario, at least you've got Kenny S, a player that might just be able to find these picks, to find these openings to get you back into round 23. And they've got it, but the peak out from D has come in and Fine has been the nemesis of Team Sponge so far. But Kenny S is quick on the trigger. Found himself Fine. He's got themselves into a very good situation right now. Team Sponge up a player. 
This has been an extended battle, but Dihar's still going strong in this same position. Second headshot on the round from him. Close quarters orping from Jackinho, and it will be successful. Sponge rounds the corner. Oh, oh okay, that okay. molly's about straight back. I don't Always know, good to see. I don't know what, what what's going on there. I mean, there was just a random bit of geometry, I guess, just a, a brick out of place. And what well, Kenny has now, he's had a big round already. He's going to go in for more, but it's a leg shot that's come in on Deha. And that has given a chance over to Chris Drake, but he's called out 14 to 9. Kenny S is doing his best to carry this team, right? He's, he's doing his best to try and pull them through, but it's just not enough. It's the youngsters, it's the Zoomers just running around them here on Ancient, and it's looking like Team Machine are going to lock themselves in a victory. This could be one of the first show matches in a while to, to not go the distance, to be relatively one-sided. Machine's looking to keep up that flawless record in show matches, Dinko. Yeah. He's 1-0 yeah. right now. And I think that was with Bardolf on his team, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, that, which that's is pretty this. impressive. Yeah, that, that's very impressive. Machine all gets caught. Well, luckily, gets away. Sponge has got mid control, but Machine gets away safely. It was that fast mid play from Sponge. He's had enough of this mid control going in favor of the CT side. So he's taking matters into his own hands. He's run straight up into middle. Always enjoy seeing some Machine on Sponge action early in the round. And it is clear what everyone's come corners. to see. Oh, of course. And while Jack Inyo is trying to filter out this mid play, but he's been flashed and he's made noise as well. Giuliano should hear this, but it doesn't even matter. Going around the corner, Sponge not getting the trade kill. It's a second kill from Jack Inyo. And now it's Machine's turn. Will he pass the test around the corner? Kenny Ash just checks him. The tech nine to the head, Machine goes down. And now it is Chris J. Oh, and Kenny Ash trying to make the play. It's Deha left alone. They've got the bomb. But can they get the round? D has been fantastic so far. The Polish powerhouse looking for his way back into this. He starts to creep up closer, closer to Donut. And Art is being found now down to the one versus one. Chris J versus D hat. Smoke onto the side. Chris J's position spotted. Shots coming through. And D hat is going to tap the ball, trying to draw him into the open. Chris J goes right into his Deagle and back onto the deep fuse. A sick clutch coming out of D hat. He's just an absolute beast. A machine is very happy with what he sees. Very good team he's put together here. No sweat for Machine right now. His team have been putting the pieces together. The young guns coming through. Some really nice shots in this round too. Vinny's liking playing that spot at the back of the site. This time he was traded. It's all about Dihar when it gets into the one on two. Oh, wow. he, he is very good with the D too. He is. He is filthy with that D eagle. And obviously he's going to be very exciting to watch in his end project moving forward. We'll see if he can keep that up. Machine. Again, the mid control. This is generally the position he takes in his match making games. He will be the mid player. Pretty solid player in the position usually as well. Can find a good bit of impact, but Sponge should realize this. And at this point, if you want to save any sort of face, you, you want to pull this back a little bit, get some pride on the line. You've just got to start getting some kills on a machine right here. You've got to win out those head to head jewels. And he's relatively close by for that opportunity. Machine's going for a bit of a mid play. He's crossed over to Cubby, going for an aggressive stance this time. Team Machine are actually... Ooh, hello. Kenny's got the opening kill on B. They're set up right now with no one committed to the A site, but that means B could be a little bit more reinforced. Jack Helio's here with the AWP. I think Team Sponge have decided to slow it down slightly. Yeah, well, Jack Helio's just going to look and try and uh, take down everybody in this one. Sponge has come back. Oh, he's found Jack Helio. Art on the double kill, and it's not done yet. Team Sponge, they are in a great position for the 10th round. Vinny looks to spoil the party, but it doesn't look too realistic considering the bomb is going to the other side of the map. Sponge is lurking over here as well to try and cut off this rotation. He's got the kill as well. A great round to pick up there for Team Sponge. He did find a lot of impact there as well. Coming out of, uh, coming out of the cave position, just spotting Jackinho in the corner. It looked like he could have done a whole lot from that spot, but Sponge steps up. Double orb setup on the T side of Ancient. Not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, Team Machine were, were literally in that round running a setup where they didn't have anyone properly on the A site. They just had one player in Donut and then a couple of players mid and a couple of players B. And that A site is just, there's so many angles and it's so hard to clear that that's something we could maybe see going forwards. Right now though, they're actually not fighting for mid early. Team Sponge have been able to take that control. 
Well, Art is looking to take Machine out. He spotted him, and it's a headshot. It's an Art attack, and Machine is not ready for it. That TV show was also on while, uh, while they were kids, so, you know, pretty old show. I watched that show. Yeah, Great well, show. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Uh, you know, used to used to be really creative, you know, get all all your bits and bobs out, make something of this. Well, Diha looking to make something of this play down the ramp. Sponge, he pulled out his pistol, he's switching, gets the AK out. And Diha has been chunked down low to 8 HP, but it's a 3v4 and the near catches him on the fallback. Good HE over the top from Art. Oh no, Chris J. Oh no. Had many dead to rights, but instead the turnaround comes in and that could give Team Machine the chance they need to close this one out. Jack Enio just spotted Giuliano. Oh. He's got another one and Kenny has to clutch. Oh, Chris J fluffing his lines, but here goes Kenny. If there's a player in this scenario you want, it's going to be Kenny S looking for the clutch out. 30 seconds left. Starts the wrap around the back of Cube. Coming up closer and closer as Jackinho is standing on default. And he has, has to try and get that bomb back. That's the big issue right now. In 20 seconds, he's, he surely cannot do this. Look how far the bomb is. He has to win an elimination. They just need to stay alive. It's absolutely no way. He gets this round over the line. Kenny has, even though he's a solid player, time is a cruel nice. Chris and Vinny's going for the night kill. Kenny has will be shanked up and a 16-10 win comes in for Team Machine. They get it over the line. He continues his flawless streak in show matches and it's Team Sponge that fall. We'll be back with a test to break down this high-level engine game after the break.